An arrest took place on Christmas Eve as a man was found in the kitchen area of Hardy's in Pikeville, high on meth and yelling incoherently. Well, it was, uh, it was Christmas Eve. We received a call from uh, Hardy's employees saying that they've got a mail causing a disturbance inside the restaurant. Uh, when officers arrived on scene, they entered the restaurant and was found the mail, you know, that we know is Curtis Parsons. He was behind the uh, counter, actually had went back there with the employees, causing a big disturbance. He was actually smoking a cigarette, throwing things, you know, uh, saying things that didn't make a whole lot of sense. So, you know, we took him into custody for being public intoxication, causing a disturbance, disorderly conduct. He was also making comments like, there they are. Uh, he thought, uh, being very paranoid, thinking that people was after him, almost like he was hallucinating. Uh, we took him to the uh, detention center where he ended up making the comment that he had eaten a bag of methamphetamine. So we had medical staff check him out, you know, clear him and everything before he was booked in at the jail. You know, in the past few years, we've definitely seen a big rise in, in the, the meth abuse and, you know, probably the majority of our arrest that involve drugs, it, it seems it is meth or, or related to meth. And you know, now that it's gotten here, and it, it seems to really taken a foothold in this area, the methamphetamine. I'd just like for everyone to just take warning that, you know, if they see something that they think is meth or know someone that, you know, might have threw some out or whatever, you know, to not even be handling it because, you know, there's been several instances lately where we're seeing a meth to our crime lab and it's coming back that it's actually laced with fentanyl and fentanyl is, is very deadly even if just touched by by your skin if you find something like that just don't touch it just call us and we'll come by and we'll try to dispose of it in the proper way we find ourselves leaving you know things that that you know could definitely use our attention you know and patrolling neighborhoods trying to prevent thefts and things because we're having to put so much attention towards this this meth epidemic it's it's in our area if you know someone that maybe needs help or, or you think someone may be abusing meth or, or selling or dealing or, or anything like that, you can always call, call 911 if it's an emergency. But if it's not an emergency, you know, please call us. Uh, you can call us at 606-437-5111. Uh,